morning. This morning, I'm going to draw an ox, this guy right here. Um, it looks difficult. It's not. So get some pencils. I'm going to do it with a red pencil today. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is draw a U. Now, if you have a lot of room, make that U big because those this U is going to be the horns and they are so much fun to draw. So I make a big U like this. It's kind of mooshed out this way, um, but that's it. Okay, so the next thing to do, it reminds me of a piece of bread. So if you want, you could connect it. You can do like a C shape this way and a C shape this way, sort of C doesn't totally finish and then you're going to connect it with a dip in between and then for the bottom half of the bread which is not really bread but it's a head you're just going to come down like this see it looks like a piece of toast doesn't it okay I might be hungry <laughs> okay so the next thing that we're going to do are the in is it looks like an indent for the eye but it will fill out so right now it's going to it's it might bother you but honestly it will fill out I promise so we're just going to come in. So now you're doing a C shape this way and a C shape this way. Okay. Now inside of that C shape, you have a V that, um, these, but they're facing that way and that's going to be the base of the eye. So you're here and you're going to make a V and you can make them come out a little cause those are actually the eyelashes and a lot of animals in the bovine family have really beautiful eyelashes. If you didn't know, they do. Okay, so <laughs> we got that down. Aren't you excited? We're so far. Um, now you can work on your horns if you want. These guys up here. If you want, you can extend them. I like making them big. I think they look awesome big. So I'm going to make these pretty big. I might extend my line a little bit. And they're coming from this, like, that top of the toast. And of course, if you want, draw a line across. Make sure they are matching up. Like that. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is two lines that come in. This is for like the cheeks of the of the ox. So you're gonna come in like that, in like that. You can start how it started to see feel like um an ox. And then we're gonna do the body shape. Now I'm not drawing the whole body, so I'm just kind of doing the sides. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come here. This is where the ear is gonna go. If I overlap, it's okay, we can erase. So it's like two parentheses, 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 this way, and this way. Okay, are you ready? We're doing so awesome, we're going so fast. Okay, so <laughs> you're right here with me, right? So what we're gonna do with the ears, I love, I love furry ears. So let's start as it connects to the head, and it's gonna look like two wrinkles, so you can do kind of like it's an upside down J, and it's a little friend, and then I'm gonna do one right here. Upside and J and a little friend. I'm making this pretty symmetrical. In reality, uh, an ox probably isn't as symmetrical as this. And then I'm gonna do the two ears. The two ears are just leaf shapes, so you're gonna make your leaf shape that comes back into the head. You can make them bigger. Let's make them bigger. And leaf shape that comes back into the head this way. Alright, so I have two leaf shape ears. Now we're going to do the nose. So I'm going to start here, just about here where we stopped the other line. And what I'm going to do, this this looks a lot like an M, like a loosey-goosey M. So I'm going to start my M like this, dip down again, same as that, right? And then loosey-goosey M this way. And I'm going to pull this in a little bit because I'm going a little too big there. It's going to look a little cartoony if I do it too big. Which is fine. It's just not for what I want right now. And we're in good shape. Let's keep rolling. All right, so now we're going to come down and swoop this way. Now, um, they have a mouth. <laughs> so I'm just going to, okay, let's think. It's a curve this way, and it connects. So this whole thing kind of looks like a jelly bean or um, a kidney bean, maybe? I don't know. It looks kind of beanish to me, but... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. So, and then we're going to do the bottom lip. So if you want to do it for the bottom lip, you're going to go, I do this part first. So it's like a straight line. And then I'm going to connect this way and connect that way. All right. We're almost done. It's the final countdown. Um, 
<laughs> so inside of here, inside those V's, we're going to fill those out, and those are the eyes. So you're going to just make a curvy line this way, and a curvy line that way. And then we're doing the nose. The nose is super easy. You're going to make a big letter V, like that. And then I'm going to, it's like a, um, if you have a dog at home, it, that shape is really similar. Our dog, we must look so strange to dogs. So it's a curve, it's kind of like a, it's a teardrop. That's what that is, a teardrop this way and a teardrop that way. Okay, and that's, oh, sorry. You gotta connect over here. So it's, this comes out a little bit and in, out a little bit and then in. All right, I think we have the basics down. I think so. And so what I would do next is shade. If you want, get references because it really does help with the shading. Um, you can follow along with me. I'm going to fast forward it, uh, but I always work darks to light and then I can always go back in and then I pick things up. This is also the point where I always sharpen my pencil because I know I'm going to be pressing down really hard and I know um, I also have a backup pencil in case I run out and don't feel like sharpening. <laughs> so I'm going to shade. I definitely say look at references. I'm going to use my own drawing as my reference for this one. But the tips of the little horns are very dark at the end, lighter, lighter, lighter. Um, the ears are quite dark, and the body is dark to bring that head forward. Um, so I'm going to do it the way I did it before, because <laughs> I will. And uh, you can do that, or you could look at references of other oxes, and there are quite a few reference amount of references online. So I'm going to get started. That is it. <laughs> I hope you like it. I actually really love it in red. I think it's really bold. Really cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed yours too. And I'll see you next time. And remember, just keep drawing.